Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers at Mishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install our direct fit transmission cooler kit into the 2007 to 2011 Jeep Wrangler JK. Let's check it out. Tools needed to install the Mishimoto direct fit oil cooler kit onto the 2007 to 2011 Jeep Wrangler JK are quarter drive ratchet, extension, 10 millimeter socket, universal, 10 millimeter wrench, Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, pop clip pliers, oil, and a funnel. Installation time is about two hours and is a two out of five on the difficulty level. First thing we're gonna do is disconnect the negative battery terminal. Next, remove the four pop clips that hold the upper radiator shroud to the radiator. Next, unplug the air sensor. Next, loosen the clamp on the intake hose and then remove the intake hose. Next, remove the PCV hose from the air box. Now you can remove the air box from the truck. Next, unplug the turn signals from the grill. Next, remove the six screw clips from the top of the front grill. Sometimes these don't always want to go up, so use a small flathead screwdriver to help work it up. Once you have the six screw clips removed, you can remove the grill. You're going to have to put a little bit of pressure underneath the grill to depop it, but it'll come off. Next, remove the four pop clips from the side radiator flaps. Okay, before we install the cooler onto the truck, we're gonna install the brackets loosely onto the cooler. So we're gonna start off with mounting the bottom brackets. Next, install the L-bracket to the upper left corner of the cooler. Next, unclip the wire harness from the upper radiator support. Next, remove the pop clip that holds the ambient temp sensor to the front of the truck. Next, install the transmission core into the truck. To relocate your ambient temperature sensor, we're gonna undo the pop clip that holds up this little shroud, and then we're gonna remove this little clip and relocate this to right under there. Next, locate the upper transmission cooler line. Then find the rubber small section. We're gonna cut that in half. That's gonna be so we can install our transmission cooler in line with the factory. Have a drain pan ready, because some transmission fluid will come out. Next, take the provided Mishimoto transmission cooler line and cut it in half.
Next, take a little bit of transmission oil and just lube up the end of the fitting. This will make it easier to go into the transmission line. Insert one end of the brass fitting into the line. Next, slide a hose clamp onto the end of the line and fish it all the way down to where the fitting is. Next, take the rubber transmission lines and fit them between the radiator and the radiator support on the driver's side. Once you have them laid in the truck, go ahead and install them onto the line. Next, tighten all the clamps for the transcore line that go on the 90 degree brass fittings. Next, install the transmission fitting adapters onto the oil cooler. This is just a dry fit so that we can measure out and figure out how long our rubber lines need to be. Next, take each line, line it up with the end of the fitting. Once you have it at a good point where it's measured up and meeting up right to the fitting, go ahead and take the rest of the line and cut it off to fit. Next, tighten down the oil fittings that go onto the cooler for the transmission lines. Next, reinstall the air intake box assembly. Tighten the clamp that holds the intake tube to the throttle body. Once you've finished, re-plug in the mass air flow sensor. Don't forget to redepress the red tab. That's a safety so that it will not pop off. Next, install the front grill back onto the truck. Install the six screw clips onto the top of the grill. Replug in the turn signals. Next, reinstall the negative terminal onto the battery. Next, it's time to add about a quart of transmission fluid to the system. Remember to use Jeep specific transmission fluid. Now that we have our transmission cooler kit installed, go ahead and turn the truck on and then check the trans fluid. Remember, when you're dealing with trans fluid, you have to check it while it's running. Okay, that concludes the install. Take your car out for a ride and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.